This was $50. What if I just casually went shopping and spent a thousand dollars and like Hi guys, for today's video, we are going shopping without checking the prices. I saw Monica Church do this video and I absolutely loved it. She went clothing shopping and I thought I would put my own little twist on it and actually go shopping for home decor. So where I went is I headed over to South Coast Plaza. It's like one of my favorite malls. They have an entire like wing of the mall that's dedicated just to like furniture and home decor. I thought it would be fun to do that just like as a little twist on the video. But if you guys would like to see me do the same video going shopping for clothing or anything else, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna like do a little rough estimate and guess and say that I spent $300. I really hope I didn't spend more than that. Usually I'm like really good with like budgeting and looking and checking all the prices. So this was a very different for me and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first store that I went is West Elm and the funny thing about West Elm is they're actually my favorite furniture store of all time. My couch that I'm sitting on right now is from West Elm, my bed, a lot of my home decor, but I have never ever purchased anything from their store full price. I've always waited till they have like flash sales or it's like Black Friday. So just going in the store and like picking up a few things and not checking the prices, We'll see how it went. The first thing that I got is just this charcoal reed diffuser. I've been wanting one of these for a while. It just looks really like minimal and aesthetic. It's just your standard reed diffuser, but it's very like black and with the black reeds. So I just think it looks a lot better. I will take it out of the box and show you guys a little clip of it, but I'm gonna guess that this was like I don't know. I feel like these are usually like $14.99, right? So it's West Elm, so I think it's gonna be a little bit more. I think this is around like $20. Let's see. <gasps> this was $40! What? <laughs> Why is this $40? Oh, this video is not off to a good start. So I paid $40 for this very minimal basic reed diffuser. All right, I literally just had to take a second to kind of collect myself. Um, judging by the fact that that was $40, just that one thing, my $300 estimate is probably way off, but we got a few more things from West Elm. The next thing that I got is just this little bowl. It's very simple, very minimal, and I just thought it would be cute to put like Palo Santo in it. Now, I would say that I think that this is like, because even that to me is kind of expensive. Like this is super tiny and it's just a little silver bowl, but it's probably more. F 14, okay, not bad. 14 bucks, definitely more than I would have spent on this. Like if I would have seen that this was $14, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't have bought it, but I'm not mad about it because it's cute. It's gonna look good once I style it, but still sweating from the $40 reed diffuser that I bought. I know that I got a set of coasters and these are just beautiful. They're like super on trend right now. I already have a few from Anthropology, but when I saw that they had these again, I just wanted to pick up a few more. And this actually doesn't have price, a price on it. Those were $60, $60, I'm gonna need to get another job after this. Next place I went was Crate and Barrel. Love their stuff, usually gravitate more towards like the kitchen stuff, that's kind of why I go shopping there. I wanted to organize my bathroom a little bit better and kind of just have a tray like this on my counter and just have like my skincare on it. I've been super into skincare lately and I just felt like it was easier to have it displayed like this than to put it in my medicine cabinet. So I'm gonna guess that this was like $30, just because it is like a good, nice, heavy, thick metal. Um, oh, it actually doesn't have the price on it, so I'm probably gonna have to check the receipt. So I did get one more thing. Let's look at that first and let's see what I think this costs and then we'll check the receipt. So these are like super trendy. I'm sure you guys have seen them lately. They're like the little chain link wood pieces. I've been wanting this forever and I just loved how big and irregular these were. It's not like a perfect chain set. For this, I'm gonna guess that this was probably like 50 bucks just because 
that's usually like the standard price of them. Um, anything more or less, I'm not really sure. So let's check. Let's check. Oh, these were $63. 63. Okay, and this was $34. This video is very interesting to just see like how much stuff actually costs and, and what my taste actually is. Okay, moving on. Next, I went to another store that is really one of my favorites. I don't shop here that much just because it's not located near me. It's a little bit of a drive whether I go to the Hollywood location or the Costa Mesa location. So I'm kind of happy about that because I don't shop here that much, but they do have really great stuff. So I did pick up a few things and I think it's the same as the Crate and Barrel where the prices aren't going to be on the item. So I'm going to show you guys everything, show you guys, tell you guys what I think it costs and then we'll go from there. So I thought that this was just super adorable, a very unique piece. This is like a woven uh, planter on the outside, but I love the fact that inside it's plastic. So you can put a plant in here, you'll be able to water it. You don't have to worry about the outside getting ruined. I'm gonna guess that this was like 20 bucks. Um, I feel like that's about, you're going price for something like this. So I thought that that was 20 bucks. Next, I like immediately fell in love with this piece. It's just a black jug. It is a nice like metal as well as it has like the wood carving on it. So it's a good combination. It's a great piece. I think it's super sturdy and good quality and it will last a while. I think that this was probably like 40 bucks, which is definitely a little bit more than I would spend on something like this, but it's CB2, so you kind of expect that it's gonna be a little bit higher of a price tag. And then the last thing that I got is a pillow because I've been needing some more pillows. And this is just like a super cute, it's nice and like heavy, and it was super comfortable like when I felt it. It's just like your standard, like little woven detailing on the front of the pillow. And I'm gonna say that this was 50 bucks because I feel like 50 bucks is a lot for a pillow and I, again, normally would not spend that, but since we're not checking the prices today, um, that's that. Okay, I have the receipt here. Let's take a deep breath. Okay, let's start with our little planter. Remember, I thought that this was 20? Nothing is $20. This was $50. This was $50. I would, like, never, like, it's cute, but it's definitely not that cute. Wow, okay, moving on. This, that I thought was 40, was $60. So, a lot more than I would wanna spend on something like this, but I have it now and it'll, it'll look cute, right? So the pillow was $50, and then what's inside of it was an additional 15. So this was $65. Can we all agree that this would be $19.99 at Home Goods if I found it there? I don't know if it's me, but it like I'm sweating. Like this is stressing me out. Okay. And the last place that I went is Anthropology. I feel like I know their prices the best, so we'll see. I feel like everything's just kind of like standard um, pricing. I went ahead and got a candle, which I feel like all their candles are like 20 to 30 bucks. It's like expected when you buy a candle from there. So we will see. This is a newer one. I don't think I saw it before and I really liked it. It's like cute little ceramic. It smells so just like fresh and clean and I love the little detailing on it. Again, little unique candle. I love their candles because they're like in these cute little fun pots that you can also keep when the candle's done. So again, 20 to 30 bucks I'd say. $32. <clears throat> this is like the size of my hand. It's not even that big. Next, I went ahead and picked up this little moon bath thing. I've been seeing these like all over Instagram. They're becoming like trendy and it's basically like a botanical bath tea is what they call it. So it has your little stuff inside and you put it in the bath. I'm gonna say that this was like 10 bucks because even to me, $10, it's just like a little herbs that you put in the bath. That's kind of a lot. So we will see. This was $20, 20 bucks for some herbs that you can throw in your bath. And then the last thing that I picked up is another small little minimal tray. I felt like if I didn't like the size of the other one, I would go ahead and use 
This one, I didn't know if I would like the hooks on it or not. So this is a really like basic standard tray. I'm gonna say that this was like $14.99 because this is like super like thin. It's not like heavy duty or anything. $30. $30 for a piece of metal. Wow. All right, so the moment of truth that we've all been waiting for. I thought I spent $300 and I actually spent $475.54 on those few home decor items. I cannot believe I spent almost $500. You guys, I've been so good about like not wasting money, not shopping or doing anything crazy like that. And it's very interesting just to see how expensive things are, especially for this. I definitely didn't expect like this to be $50 or this to be 40 bucks. It just goes to show you sometimes when you do budget out and like wait for coupons and stuff, you are truly saving a lot of money. So I actually will link everything down below in case you guys are interested in anything that I shared. I also did open up a new fun home decor store. I'll have the information on that in the description box down below. So yeah, I think if you guys want me to do this with clothes, I'll be able to do it when I maybe, I don't know, find another job after I just blew $500 in like 35 minutes. All right, all jokes aside, I do think that that was a really fun experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.